Hey, what is up, everybody? Jan's back with another video for you guys, and I appreciate you guys tuning in every week to see my videos and everything. I usually keep things to a music topic, usually on this channel. Today, I'm doing something a little different, something I just became very, very obsessed with, and I feel like it needs a bit of a review. I'm not going to go too much into detail about it. It's not going to be a super long video. There's plenty of videos out on YouTube if you're looking for two hour long videos on this topic. I'm going to be going over a TV show recently that I just finished up. I just started watching a few weeks ago and binge watched over the last few weeks. And that is Game of Thrones. Yes, I'm a late comer to this show. It started in 2011 and I only started watching it 10 years later. But hey, it's never too late to become a fan of anything at all. A lot of fans have been really disappointed with the ending. That was something that made me anxious and made me think that like, okay, the, the they was going to have like a really disappointing ending. And um, I'll tell you what, and to be honest, I was very, very pleased with the ending, to tell you the truth, for the most part. Um, yeah, like the, there's a few things. Like I, I'm glad that Daenerys Targaryen gets stabbed in the heart. Um, I was such a fan of hers through the first seven seasons and everything, and I thought she was going to be this wonderful ruler. They really had you really going through a loop with her and making her think that she was divine and great and she just turned into a complete uh pseudo cunt definitely her character was definitely very mighty and powerful and beautiful definitely emily Carr does a really good job of portraying uh Daenerys targaryen Jon snow stabs her at the end towards more towards halfway through the episode or so he stabs her right in the heart i'm really glad that she didn't end up ruling the seven kingdoms and she would have turned that place into ash land as she did with uh, King's Landing. Uh, that was surprising and shocking. I know her friend was beheaded and everything by Cersei. I think that's how you say her name. And that that lady is definitely a bitch too. And everything. And she deserved what she got. We have a little bit more on her a little bit later in the video. Stay tuned for that. She definitely did wrong killing her friend. I forget the friend's name. Is that Lady of Noth lady. She did not need to destroy the city and kill a bunch of innocent people that had nothing to do with her death. And that just have nothing to do with Cersei's rule in general you know so but honestly my breaking point with Daenerys was when she threatened uh Tyne yeah his character was my favorite uh, throughout the whole entire series by far um very witty guy and everything and uh really intelligent in any way but when she threatened him um when she says uh she said something along the nature if you make another mistake, it'll be your last. That's when I was like, okay, this lady is definitely a bitch. <laughs> she definitely needs to be taken out. That's when I lost all faith in her. But then, obviously, what she does to King Landing... King's Landing, obviously, just... That's put the icing on the cake for me. I was done with her at that point. And was hoping Jon Snow would become the King of the Seven Kingdoms. Because he was the rightful heir to the throne. But I'm glad that, you know, he, he got to go north and everything and whatnot. He seemed happy up there, and... Good for him. With Cersei, as I said earlier, I had a little bit more on her. I definitely believe she deserved to perish, for sure. But I would have, if I would have wrote the script and everything, or the storyline, I just would have waited it until she had her baby first. Jamie Lannister definitely deserved what he got, for sure. He did some horrible things throughout the series as well. He sealed his fate when he went back with that bitch. I like how Bran became the king of the Seven Kingdoms, even though he didn't want it. That's a man that definitely deserved it and I feel has the intelligence and the leadership ability to do it. Obviously becoming the three-eyed raven, seeing what has happened in the past and everything. He has all those visions and everything and whatnot. Obviously you want somebody at that helm. <laughs> they know it's going to happen. I mean, I guess that's a good ruler to have. I'm glad Tyrion, uh, that's his name, Tyrion, um, was... I'm glad that he was spared uh, as well. That was That was great. Um, the one thing I don't I don't understand is, and you guys might be able to fill me in on this in the comments section below. If you guys have anything you want to say, I want to hear your opinions on the ending as well. Yeah, one thing about Jon Snow was is uh, how they shipped him off north, and he was to be a Night's Watchman and everything. They can't marry, they can't uh, be with a woman in general. There was they can't leave, I guess, the premises or whatever. Um, but after those. Uh, the eunuchs leave and everything they leave for Noth um, wouldn't you think that they don't have any authority anymore or anybody that's maybe written the books is there a little bit more on it? do some of them stay behind and kind of just kind of you know see if like 
people are keeping their word or not on things, or do they all leave? So, but if they all left, um, I wouldn't listen. I guess, I guess technically, John heading off beyond the wall, then right at closing segment of the whole entire series in general, I guess is kind of going against that. I, I'm not sure if he was allowed to go north. Let me know um, in the comments section below what you guys know about that situation and what you think about that situation, or did he defy the Unix? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much uh, what I got for the ending of it. I'm definitely excited for the prequels, of course, as well. Um, I want to know from you guys, what was your favorite character throughout the series? What was your biggest disappointment in the series? What was the best death in the series? What was Who deserved who deserved to die in the series? Like, um, What was your favorite season? Uh, what was your favorite house? What Where would you want to live in the whole entire world? It doesn't even have to be Westflows. It could be Esos. Sotheros, or even Ulthos, even though we don't know anything about it. Um, where do you guys want to live in if you lived in Game of Thrones? If you guys did enjoy this video or you enjoy any other videos on the channel and you want to see more videos, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. That really helps with algorithm as well. Hit that notification bell so you guys know what's going on at all times. Comment away, as I said a million times in the comment section. I want to hear some suggestions for you guys. Any suggestions you guys have for reactions, covers, tier lists, or any maybe other t movies or TV shows as well. What do you guys want to hear? What do you guys want to see? I want to hear from you. And you guys have a great day. Thank you for tuning in.